by his constant angler uh, just for a feature some of the FFS lures soft plastics that I've been buying recently and um, using for the BFS may even try them out for RAS uh, sometime but I think they're more sort of um, bait finesse system size little bait casters light rods yeah after perch chub etc so start on the left here this is a new lure to me I'll just take them out of the packets as I go um, not sure how you say it in me uh, it's in something special color really like the look of this lure like like the uh, the color uh, especially <laughs> in that way. let's have a look see it almost reminds me of sort of tadpole sort of thing tadpole body and and a spear sort of tail this would be lovely on a little drop shot rig or a split shot rig for those perch maybe those smaller predators but i'm sure the bigger ones will have them as well and i do like this something special color sort of a blue color with a and looking under the camera which i'm doing here uh sort of a goldy top with black glitter gold glitter in there maybe some silver in there yeah nice little lure it's only a gram and it's 50 millimeters long so it is one of the smaller lures i coming from a rash fishing background i struck a little bit with these smaller lures to to get my head around them but yeah it's gonna work uh looking at another smaller lure um these are all the rage at the minute this is in puck of perch but it's a micro frog uh 45 millimeters 1.75 grams so a little bit bigger slightly bigger um i've hooked uh, perch on these but unfortunately they come off so they weren't on the video that i shot uh, wonderful little paddles on them look like a little frog which you'll see in the margins especially in the spring um, you know after the tadpoles grow up a bit maybe a little later than early summer that kind of thing they do them in a variety of colors this is pucker perch color so a green back uh, black glitter gold glitter yeah it's difficult to see it down through the camera when you're looking through the camera lens but yeah and an orange sort of belly i do like this sort of color lure for ras fishing as well uh, a craw in that color would be very good for that i know i'm talking about ras but i'll probably use them for ras as well i'll stick that on a um <clears throat> sort of four size four weedless hook if i wanted some weight you can put my jig heads people have been fishing them all sorts of ways and they're catchy maybe on a split shot rig with that bit of finesse there so moving on, talking finesse, here we have the finesse worms. This is in the contusion color and it's 125 millimeter worm, 3.5 grams in weight. Uh, let's take one out and show you. I love this color. Can have a little look, it's a purpley color if you can see there. Uh, it's got glitter in it. I think it's probably silver glitter that's, that's taking on the color, a bit of blue glitter in there, taking on the color of the actual lure itself. So it's a darker purple on the top, got a, got a slot there for a hook slot. This would be great on a shaky head, wouldn't it? A little bow tail there for, uh, for those perch. A little hollow bow tail there, which will help it float. That's going to slay perch, it really is. That would catch wrasse as well, but I think they'd probably bite through them. Like I said, these are mainly what I'm going to use when I'm perching and chubbing. Uh, so we've got them again in another colour there. This is perfect Sunday colour, exactly the same bait, bow tail, hollow bow tail, narrow body, hook slot, and more bogus. They, they look like a finesse worm. No, they look like a worm, garden worm. This is the perfect Sunday colour, as I might have said already. Uh, moving on, these caught me perch already. Did hook a chub and come off in the video, the last video, chub BFS. This is a floating finesse stick. It's in the perfect Sunday colour again. Uh, 75 millimeters and 2.5 grams have it in the bama bug color i think it is but don't have it here and i've got it in the red signal color which is uh let's yes, take it out of the packet and show you <clears throat> so we've got that gold sort of color with the black and the gold silver fleck and the red body um yeah these are 75 millimeters long 2.5 grams and they've got that hollow tail as well they catch perch and things. Well, they're going to catch me perch and things with some other people catching on them. So another finesse bait. And then we get into the beetle crawl. Well, this is the first pack of these I've had, actually. But, um, yeah, these, these are very versatile bites. They are, this one is actually in the electric green pumpkin, which is one of my favourite colours at the moment. Uh, as you can see, it's a blue with glitter, black glitter, blue glitter in the top. 
and it's a sort of a green pumpkin-y sort of color, but a bit of transparency to it. You can, it's segmented, so I probably wouldn't use this for us. They're gonna bite those segments off. Uh, you would catch on them, I'm not saying you wouldn't. Um, yeah, what size is it? This is 65 millimeters and 2.5 grams. It's got some tentacles on there, some swimming. It's a swimming claw, it's got the paddle claws there. A couple of paddle claws at the back as well. Yeah, you can bite this off, break this off, and have different size baits. I think it's quoted as six in one, uh, one bait, so six types of baits from the one bait. So a beetle to a craw, I guess, of varying sizes. And then my current favourite lure, because I just put a beautiful chubble or two on it, uh, if I mentioned it before, my BFS shove video, is the Kraken. And this is in the same electric green pumpkin. So it's green pumpkin, isn't it? I probably said watermelon, I always get those two confused. Um, with blue flecks uh, back there. Even on the claw, claw, uh, claws there, if you see on the side, you've got the two tones in colour there. Just, just, um, the chub just nailed those. So uh, I went ahead and got some, uh, some different colours. Um, oh, looking out all over the place here. So we've got a Bama Bug there, which is sort of a pinky purpley colour. They've all got glitter in them. And uh, looks like the watermelon again, doesn't it? Or green pumpkin, I keep saying watermelon. Combination of the two, but you can see the detail on these lures. Let's um, show you one of those because there is a contrast there of colour to show you what I mean. So we're looking at from above there. If you turn, see the, the claws there, even the claws are two tone. That takes some producing doing that. And so this sort of quality, these are very good quality lures. Lovely soft plastic, um, which gives more action uh, when you're fishing for freshwater fish such as uh, perch and chub. You've got to worry too much about teeth. Uh, if you were fishing in the sea, so catch a rasp, but they're going to uh, probably get bitten a bit, I expect. And then we've got the contusion colour again. So these are 75 mils and 2.75 grams, and this is just a wonderful colour. Look at that purple there. Yeah, great. So he's going to be my main attack over the winter for perch and any chub that I can get near. Now the chub very much depends on the rivers and how coatings get and what you end up bait fishing for them. So this here is a beaver bug and that's a great size for a good size perch or a good size wrasse. And with this bait, you know, there's your beaver bait. You've got a beaver tail as they call it there and then the main body of the bug itself. Um, but then you can do this. You can break those apart. So all of a sudden you've got more action, more flapping. You can even detach them from that and have an extra tentacle on either side. These are very versatile baits. They allow you to adapt them to what you want. So we got even more movement there now. This on a Ned would be great or Texas rig. And these are gonna beat and flap as you wind them in and these tentacles will move. There's gonna be a lot of action with those. I really like those baits. So that's in perfect Sunday color. I'll show you it in the Bama Bug colour, which is the one I've got first, and they're 85 millimetres, um, in the contusion colour, sorry, and 5.75 grams. So you've got a bit of weight there already, stick it on a three gram, five gram lead, or five gram Texas rig, and it's, it's doing everything you want, isn't it? Or heavier, if you want to go heavier. And then another bait I'm really liking the look of is the Thang. And this is in perfect Sunday colour again, 75 millimetres, 4.65 grams. This is smaller bait, crawl bait. So you yeah, look at the, the pink and that on that. That's just something a bit different. You're not, they're not seeing that all the time. And I will be using these perfect Sunday colours of crawls for wrasse fishing because it's difficult to get a crawl in a pink colour, especially in a laminate colour. And that's why I first got into these baits was for this, because I want to be working the colours for rash. You'll see it on my last video where I was catching rash on Neds, and I've mentioned it before. We don't use colours enough for rash. We do in freshwater, we use all sorts of colours for perch. You know, these fish are predators. Here's another one. They're, they're going to be turned on by colour. Bama Bug, the thang, this one. Same same size, same weight. 75 millimetres, 4.65 grams. Here we go. 
This is in Bama Bug, so we've got that green pumpkin, and we've got almost the color of the contusion on the top, the purplish color. Got the glitters in there. We've got the hollow head. You can see that quite clearly there, can't you? And it's a good, good little size that 75 millimeters for a crawl bait. Small fish, big fish, gonna wolf that down. You know, if I, if I'm thinking there's more big fish around, I'll probably go with a beaver bug, but. Just a different pro, pro profile and a different look in the water and these flap along and swim as you wind in so you could hop them up and down but perch yeah we know they catch well i do because i've been on the group i've joined the facebook group but i can see people catching on them and what they see is and what they like there's a fish see that thump that oh he could he's having a go at it he's not big but he's obviously followed it in i think yeah got him Oh, he's pulling a bit at close range. Look at this for a fight. Crawling on that. He ain't big again, is he? But look at that. What a pull. What a fight. What a bite. Beautiful colours on this one. Oh, a little bit more weight to him. Solid fish again. He followed that all the way in, I reckon. Beautiful colour. I, I love the colours of these. You see him down there. What a stunning animal. Right, there's what we had it on. An FS Lure Champagne Shad. Nice fish, but there's bigger to come if they're feeding. We'll stick with the shads for a minute then. So, there's some standard colours there. We've got Bammer Bugs, Electric Green Pumpkin, Perfect Sunday Contusion, Red Signal, Pucker perch color, something special color. You can get all these lures in those colors that I've mentioned. Um, but you can, if you want, you can request from Toma FFS lures. I just struggle to say that for some reason, Tom. You can request custom colors. You have to buy in bigger, bigger orders. These are just the small packets. I think there's like five in each, something like that. Um, yeah, so you'll have to buy in in larger quantities because it's got to be worth in doing a run with them but he will do them and uh, that's something great because you can dream up a colour yourself. I've got things in my head already I'm thinking I want to try, but we'll work through these and see what we do with these. And then, you know, as we progress and, and gain confidence in these baits, uh, as I do gain confidence in the baits, which I'm, I'm getting rapidly at the moment. So I hope that'll give you an idea of why I've got these baits, why I am liking these baits. I'm a relative newcomer to um, BFS uh so i've you know i've not got a lot of experience so i look around on the social media and i see that people are buying these and they're raving about these and i invest a bit of bit of money in them and a bit of time fishing them uh it gives you a good start uh you know these baits work so if you're not catching it's not the bait it might be the color you could switch that around it might be the way you're fishing it the rigs that you're fishing with but at least you know the baits work so it's a good point to start off on isn't it hope that uh it was enjoyable for you it wasn't too boring uh i'll be doing lots more things like this it won't just be uh one particular lure manufacturers there's lots of places i buy lures from and uh use lures with different types for different types of fishing so this will be like a little spotlight thing i do from time to time don't want to ramble on anymore thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell if you're really keen i'm going to be doing lots more fishing and uh yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the next few weeks because I'll be doing some giveaways as well. Thank you.